thank you so much for your availability. We're very pleased uh, to listen to your story. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Absolutely. Hi, Marcia. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Josephine Z, and I'm a shoe designer. Where Where are you based now, Josephine? I'm currently in Milwaukee, uh, but I'm moving back to New York soon. And what is your um, educational background? You were saying that professional background, you've, you've been uh, a shoe designer for eight years. And mm -hmm. what about your education prior to that? So I started out with industrial design. That's where I came from and focusing on cars. And I got into footwear because shoes are like cars for your feet right <laughs> in a way so i started designing shoes in new york and i got to launch my own brand at some point while i was working as a senior designer for a company and i realized that i had no idea how to manage or budget or market so i went back to graduate school and then um, i studied design management um, and the university that I went to for my master's degree offered me a job to teach there. So I started teaching there and then I got a fellowship and the COVID happened. So I moved to Milwaukee to teach full time at a, at a university. All right. So you actually took the uh, shoe one year diploma program through the online modality. How was that? It was fabulous. I mean, for me, the pandemic was in a way an opportunity. It was the nudge that I needed because I wanted to go to Arsatoria for so many years. But it was, uh, it's not easy to just move to Milan and go to school full time. So uh, it was wonderful, especially for some classes that are very technical. I could rewatch the video, I can rewind. Because uh, sometimes you watch someone do the demo and even if you take really good notes, you don't remember everything, right? So the videos were so effective. All right, sounds <laughs> sounds good. So um, throughout, since you just you started in late August and you finished at the end of March, I guess it's been quite intensive mm -hmm. with a full-time job at the same time. But as you were saying, you were going through uh, pre-recorded classes and then you also had reviews with instructors. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything specifically out of all the subjects that you took along the year that were particularly significant for you? Absolutely. I loved pattern making classes. I mean, it's hard to pick my favorite in a way because every class that I took was amazing. Uh, truth be told. <laughs> so, but pattern making was so cool because uh, as a shoe designer, even though I worked in footwear for many years, I don't get to always see the pattern making from scratch. And I got to learn that artisanal approach and I have new appreciation for footwear design now. All right, sounds, sounds great. So how do you think uh, moving forward, the, uh, the, this experience is a training experience of the Shoe One Year Diploma Program will support your further professional development? I would say there, it's going to help me so much uh, and I may not be able to even quantify it at the moment, but some of the things that are immediate to me are one, I would be a much more mature and better collaborator because of all the classes that I took, especially the pattern making uh, and other classes too and production. Um, now that I will be thinking about many different aspects of footwear, not just making something that I just want to draw. So um, that would make me a better collaborator. And number two, I would say, if, as a professional, sometimes it's hard to have that opportunity where I get to really come up with my own interesting subject matter and develop my own line and do the drawings and do the research. So this uh, program gave me the opportunity to do that. And I tapped into some of the areas that I never even knew that I was interested in or even I could execute or be, be good at. So that was amazing. And I, I have new awareness of my skills um, and also new sort of confidence that, oh, I can try this, you know, uh, and 
I like to make shoes in this way or certain ways. So I, I got to know myself better as a footwear designer. Sounds sounds great. So it actually came up to my mind one uh, one one thing uh, in regards to your previous experience. Did you did you have any experience in three D prior to the program? I did, I did, but I don't really get to do that at my job because you know the seasons change all the time, and we usually outsource that. So I didn't really have to do that in my job. But do you, do, so you don't think that you will actually uh, be using the the skills that you've learned through the three D class? Uh, as you know to you know to implement some ideas and develop the collection and really uh, shortcut the time to sample making I think I definitely will because now now that I have more of a confidence more confidence to propose that I can be like let me just quickly make that on in a rhino or blender and we can just 3d print it right away before we uh, try to develop this back and forth with the development. So I feel like if, if it's a new shaped heel, most of the time we would just send it over, no brainer, but it would save a lot of time and I could propose that and I could just make it very quickly online. I mean, using softwares. Sounds, sounds really great. Uh, we are grateful and appreciate, and I'm talking on behalf of the whole uh, uh, teaching team, um, to have had you as a student. Uh, we uh, wish you the best for your professional development. To see you at some point in Milan, since you were an online student, but still we were pretty close. And uh, if there isn't anything else that you would like to share. Um, I mean, I'm so grateful. Every faculty member I, I met through our Satoria, even if it was online, I felt like I, I know them in person. Everybody was very personable, dedicated. I am so grateful. Also, there is a video out there somewhere that where I'm falling asleep. <laughs> it was <laughs> 5 in the morning in, in Milwaukee and probably 10 a.m. in Milan, and I try to attend all the classes that in person. So I think by 5 o'clock, I'm wrapped up in blanket i'm literally dozing up <laughs> so there's well, yes, we're thankful also because of the challenges of sometimes we've been juggling with uh, for the few webinars that were out there with people on a complete different time set so in any case the webinars would be recorded but as you're a very dedicated student you wanted to be on the time and not see the recording of it so uh, this makes even a more ap appreciate appreciated students so um Thanks again, Josephine, and uh, best of luck for the uh, for your professional development.